today is one of those really wet and windy days um definitely uh getting deep into autumn yeah where we live so today i thought well let's go with this theme of rain and we're going to do a little painting where you're going to need some acrylic paints you basically need a black and white and maybe two other colors i'm going to use a red and yellow but um, you can, as we go along, you will be able to see what I'm doing and you can choose your own colors. Right, so the first thing you, we're going to do is we're going to draw the outline of our painting. And I am going to draw with quite a dark black pencil so that you will be able to see what I'm drawing. So I'm going to start off by doing um, my umbrella. So do it like this up i hope you can actually see that on the video so my umbrella is going to cover most of the top third of my painting there we go and that's the sides of it and this is the little metal spines of your umbrella going up like this right so i hope that is visible to you okay now i am going to draw the um the little the, the boy or girl with the little um raincoat on it's got a bit of a slit in it the back and then don't forget the arms the arms are holding the umbrella so there's the arms and now we have to do the legs so we're going to start by putting the legs in there uh, and I'm going to have them wearing wellingtons or gum boots as it's known to some. So I'm drawing at a very strange angle so I hope it's actually uh, making sense to you guys. Okay, now that is our basic drawing. I'm going to draw in a little bit of a horizon line in here. Um, I think that is done. So, yep, I can see that you can actually see that. So, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to start with my background. I will take some of my black and my white. Um, I don't really want to make it dark, dark, black, black, black. But you can if you want to. Or you can even use a blue black to do your your background so I'm just going to take some of my white mix it with my black so it's not such a dark stark black and I'm going to just start painting in around my boy and um, the umbrella or my girl and the umbrella so just doing those corners and as I paint now it will probably also make a little bit more sense to you Okay, so at this point, I'm now going to do the bottom part. So I'm going to, instead of painting up and down, I'm going to paint from left to right. And um, just to give it a little bit more of a different brush stroke. So it also gives that effect of um, it being a flat surface that we're standing on. So it's not the background sky. It's actually now the pavement or wherever this person is standing. Okay, so that is very, very black at the moment. Um, but what we are now going to do is going to start bringing in a little bit of light. So we're going to do the raindrops and we're going to do like a bit of a puddle underneath where um, our person is standing. So I'm going to add a little bit more white um, to my black. Just make it a little bit lighter. Remember the majority of the paint is still black. 
um, we are just going to make it a little lighter around here. So just going to create a little bit of a, a, a feeling of water being in puddles around their feet, this person's feet. And we need to put it in here as well. And remember to keep this going left to right. I'll just blend it in. And now I'm going to take a smaller brush. Um, it's quite a thin brush. And I'm actually going to use that to create some raindrops. So just that lighter color that we've mixed, we want to create um, some raindrops falling. This may be a little bit difficult for you to see, but I will show you the painting closer to the end. I'll bring the camera close up so you can see what I'm doing here. So keep your raindrop drops going in the same direction. And if you find that it's not working very well, just put a little bit of water with your paint so that um, it's easier to draw, draw with your thin brush. And make sure it goes all the way down because this, the raindrops are falling right around this um this person okay so when you get to this point it's probably a good idea to get your paint to dry because if i for instance use a yellow now and i touch the the wet black it's going to make my yellow um a, a green color or you know any of the other colors it's just going to make it um yeah it's going to smudge with those colors so i am going to um, pause my video for a minute i'm just going to dry this and then we will carry on Right, we will continue now and I am going to paint my little rain jacket yellow. So I'll start off with that. And I've actually got some black paint because my background wasn't completely dry, so I've got a little bit of black paint on my brush here that's smudging my yellow. Okay, so you also need to think about where is the light falling, so there will be some type of light on that jacket, and you just add it in with some extra white paint. And obviously the shadow parts will um, have a little bit of a darker yellow or a black shade to it okay so there i've got my jacket painted i will put in a tiny little bit of shading so i'm going to take a little bit of black on my brush it's really ever so little um black on there and i'm going to create a little bit of a shadow underneath my umbrella just want to give that a wash and, and then just blend it in nicely with some more yellow. Okay, and you can bring that same little um, shade um, in the arm areas. And even at the bottom of your coat or the shadow side. Okay, so then my coat is done. Now we're going to move on to the umbrella. My umbrella, I'm going to make it red. Once again, you can make these things any color you want. Now, you will also have drawn your picture with a pencil, so your lines won't be as visible as mine is. You will probably cover your lines really well.
Now we also need to create that illusion of the umbrella being round and the way we do that is with the shading we bring in. And also our brush strokes. Brush strokes play a huge role in creating an illusion of roundness. So you'll see how I do each part separately and I keep my brush strokes a little bit rounded. So it's not up and down, it's a little bit rounded. So it gives that impression of it being round. I'm also going to add some white just to create a little bit of a light area. So th these areas will be standing out the most. And keeping it nice and rounded again. Maybe add a little bit more to the center one. And I will create my shadows using a little bit of a um, little bit of black on these areas here. You will, that's the areas where you will have your pencil lines. Okay, so that is done. Now we're going to move on to our legs and the Wellingtons or the gum boots. Now, I am going to just pretend that this person has got black leggings on or black pants. So I'm just going to paint that in there. And then I'm going to start with my, my actual boots. I'll make the boots red as well. I've picked up some black again. So if you want a really nice painting, make sure that you wait for areas to dry first. I'm going to add a little bit of white as well. Some areas just showing that there's a little bit of light falling on it. And that is basically our painting. There's now just small little details that I will add just to um, make things look a little bit neater maybe. Um, and you will not be able to see that from this distance. But as I said, I will um, show you a photo. Maybe I'll actually add a photo to the video that I'm going to place on my Facebook page so that you can actually see this finished result. Also, if you are, um, if you want to paint something like this and you just think this is just too young for you, you don't want to do that, you can always try something else. Yeah, I prepared um, a painting with Wellington boots um, standing on grass and there's just some flowers in it. Now I have the step-by-step -step instructions that I'm going to add this onto my Facebook page as well which is called Karen Simon's Art, and you will be able to find that information there. So I'm just going to gently pick up my video and just take it a little bit closer so that you can see the painting. Round about there. Okay, but I, as I said, I will neaten it up nicely for you and and I will post it, um, I'll post the picture on my Facebook page. Have a wonderful time creating. See you later.